Hi everyone, I'm Regaila, product manager at Omnisant. So today I want to tell you about what workflows we have and how you can use them. Okay, so if you come to Omnisant and you want to create new workflow, uh, you click here and you come to our preset library. Here we have a lot of pre-built templates that you can use to automate your email marketing. So the first automation that you want to set up is welcome automation. This is how you welcome your new subscribers. You can customize our uh, pre-built preset as you wish. So um, the idea of this workflow is that customers enter it when they sign up via Omnicent or Shopify form or any other form that you can choose here. And we exit the workflow when we make a purchase in your store. Here we have a delay, it's one minute so that your customers immediately uh, get the discount that we sign up for. Um, here we offer to send an email with a 10% discount. You can edit the discount very easily and your customers will receive uh, the discount that they sign up for in the form. If you don't want to do email, you can easily choose um, SMS by just dragging it in or push notification. The next thing that you want to do is setting up abandoned cart workflow. This is the most popular uh, and the most uh, known uh, email marketing automation in the market. We have different options of it, but uh, I would recommend using abandoned cart value split. So this workflow uh, is triggered when customers abandon their cart and we exit the workflow when we make a purchase in your store. So your customer comes to the store, adds product to the cart and leave it. And then after one hour, we get emails. Here we see the split. So if the abandoned cart sum is greater than 50, uh, customers get emails with 30% discount. If card sum is less than 50, then we get emails without the discount. This is because um, if the card sum is greater than certain sum, you might want to offer a discount because it's worth it. Um, if you want to change the sum, you can easily do it using our filters here. So how the emails are sent, uh, basically the first email is sent after one hour. You see the delay here, you can also change the time as you wish. And then um, 11 hours after the first email is sent, we can get um, another, we get another reminder. Um, and then after 12 hours, we get the last reminder. So now we have two must-haves of email marketing automation, which is welcome and abandoned cart. But our most successful customers use three or more marketing automations and we get twice as much attributed orders. So the third workflow that customers usually set up is customer activation. Customer activation workflow is about re-engaging customers who have bought from you in the past but haven't made a purchase for a while. So what we see here, uh, customers enter, enter the workflow when we buy a product in your store and they exit the workflow when we buy a product in your store. So what a workflow does is checks if the customer made a purchase uh, in 30 days. You can choose the time frame here depending on your industry and then sends an email to offer something uh, that might be interesting for the customer. If you don't want to do email, you can always drag SMS or push notification. Another workflow that you might want to look at is product abandonment workflow. Uh, customers who use product abandonment workflow sell three times more as those who don't. So we have different options of it. 
uh, I would recommend using product abandonment engagement split. So what does this workflow do is offer the products to customers who remove the products and leave the store without buying or adding the product to a cart. So if we look at the setup of the workflow, we see that contacts enter it when we remove products on your store and leave without buying, and we exit the workflow when we make a purchase in your store. So how is it set up? Is that we wait for two hours and then send an email with the products that the customer moved. So if we check the content, we see that here are the products that customer moved. So it's very relevant and very timely. Then we wait for another hour and see if the customer engaged with the email. If not, if the customer didn't even open it, we can send a reminder uh, encouraging the customer to check the products. Another automation that lets you to use more opportunities to sell is cross-sell automation. What it does, uh, it basically offers a product which is relevant and goes well with the product that the customer has just bought. The one that I recommend using is cross-sell delay A-B test. So let's look how this automation looks. Uh, we see that customers enter the workflow when we buy a specific product from your store and we exit when we buy uh, some other product from your store. So here we see that we need to choose the exact product that we want to base our cross-sell automation on. So let's say I want to uh, choose dark gray dress. So if a customer buys casual dark gray dress, I want to offer pink dress because the customer is likely to like that dress as well. So I want to set up exit condition um, on the pink dress. So I simply choose it here. And then what the automation does is uh, splits the contacts of this flow into two groups, 50-50 and A-B test, and tests with delay time. So we see that on the A part, we have three days, and on the B part, we have seven days. Then we send the same email offering the same thing address. We can simply add it in the content editor just picking it from our star. And here we have. Then we do the same on the other email. And now we can check the results after some time to see which time delay performs best. Then we can choose that delay to be the go-to option for this workflow to offer the pink dress. On top of that, we have many more workflows that can help you drive sales, increase loyalty, and build relationships with your customers. One of such is back in stock feature, which allows customers who sign up for a product that is currently out of stock to get notified when they're um, desired product is back in stock again. Another one is birthday automation, which allows you to congratulate customers on the birthday or upcoming birthday and drive sales and build relationships in that way. As many pre-built presets that we have, um, every business is different and you might have something different and very specific that you want to do. In that case, you can just click to create custom workflow and get a blank canvas where you have full flexibility of doing whatever you want. So you can choose from many triggers that we have. You can uh, set up a workflow based on the message behavior of your customers, on the browsing behavior, um, on the order um, status changes, and many more uh, events.
Also, if we select the trigger, you can um, use a lot of data of that trigger to customize your workflow or filter who enters it. Also, you can choose a lot of uh, contact properties that uh, you might want to base your workflow on. You have the same events, the same data, all your data in exit conditions, which gives you the ultimate freedom to set up the workflow. Uh, you can choose from the different channels as email, SMS, push notification. Uh, you can choose the delays between them. You can split based on different rules. So you can split based on triggers and their properties, uh, contact properties or previous uh, message behavior. So as you can see, Omniscient is very easy to use. If you are like most of our customers who are busy store owners and don't want to spend a lot of time on email marketing, you can simply come choose one of our presets and enable them and it will just work. If you are like me, more geeky in email marketing, you can always uh, choose the option to customize your workflows and you have the full flexibility of use your data to the fullest and experiment with different ways to get the results that you want. So thank you a lot for watching the video. Uh, if you want to get more info on the Omniscent, you can check the description below or you can just start using Omniscent today because it's completely free. With a few clicks, you are ready to go.